Hello guys, my name is Sandy and recently I've been traveling. I just went to Paris and if you keep up with my Instagram, you'll know that I also just came back from New York. But of course, with all this traveling, my schedule has been all over the place. So today, I'm gonna show you guys how I like to get back into routine. so long since i've seen you guys and updated you guys but this is zuri's baby okay if you guys don't remember zuri had four babies and this is minka we ended up keeping minka she's adorable we also have one more kitty so much has happened since the last time i've talked to you guys i went to paris i went to new york and i've been traveling and experiencing new things taking risks this is my era of really just trying to get outside my comfort zone but originally i was here like i'm going to new york all by myself but then i met up with some girlies over there which really helped me feel much more in community which i really enjoyed that i didn't film a vlog for that i actually wanted to really bad and i was filming but then new york loki just was so overwhelming and so filming just wasn't really like comfortable over there i was so anxious the first day i went to new york because as somebody who comes from such a small like town i'd say new york is just so busy but of course with all the traveling i feel like my routine has basically disappeared it's non-existent and so i'm really excited I decided to actually get back into my routine and get back into doing things that really help me be productive So today i'm gonna show you guys what I like to do so that I can get back into a proper routine And also guys my dog had puppies Cutie pie you and they stink really bad Anyways guys that's my life update My room is filled with so much laundry I'm literally terrible at putting clothes away after I wash it We definitely have a lot to do now that we're back home First thing we gotta do is make a list So I have this thing that has like like daily task little check marks i got this from inside then out they have really good like journals writing prompt stuff i'm just gonna write under the tasks things i want to achieve or do today okay laundry clean room after i clean my room i really want to get rid of these lash extensions i have on right now before i went to paris i got lash extensions done like actually and i loved it but then before i went to new york i noticed that all of my lashes were basically almost gone so i was here like okay let's do diy lashes extensions i don't really have the time to be setting an appointment to go get a full set in so let's just do a diy moment and so that's literally what i did and now i'm obsessed so now loki i'm like should i just do a new set zuri do you want to come up here you look like you're staring at me but you said my cat doesn't make sense i'm gonna get ready for my day i also want to move my body today so I'll either go to the gym or take a walk grocery shopping one of the biggest things that helps me stay under a routine is having my meals planned because if i don't have my meals planned i will literally go to the restaurant or go to fast food and i will buy things eating random places is not a proper routine for me eating a meal that is timed and prepared is what keeps me in a routine cook today a slow self-care and then the last thing is sleep early sorry come on you're stealing the spotlight you guys see how my pen looks super cute and fluffy yeah you see that look at what my cats have done to my other one <laughs> it looks so sad and crispy she's literally the definition of a black cat hey what are you doing is that your baby what girl she has the zoomies really bad let's take this time to remember that cleaning your room is not just a physical thing it's also very important to clean yourself spiritually if you guys watch me you guys know i love using these incense sticks people don't like these because they smell but like if you get the ones that are scented and they smell really good trust me it's not as bad the one i have right now i got it from a local like crystal shop its smell is supposed to be lavender and honeysuckle so i just like burn it like this and i shake it and then boom it's like all smoky this cleanses away negative energy negative vibes but it's very important that you make sure your window is open while you do this because imagine there's like negative energy in here and you're like cleansing and then you don't open your window all that is still in here so i'm gonna open the windows and then i'm also gonna just like do this all over my room so when 
it comes to organizing my clothes, I usually have like a specific system and the system is throwing everything on the ground and then I start organizing things by folding and things by hanging. I even section things by socks, pants, and I kind of just throw it all in different piles and then I start organizing it by hanging them, folding them, and then throwing them back in my closet. This is what works for me. Honestly, I think this is what I do because I have so much clothes. It honestly takes an entire system to just get my laundry back into my closet where it belongs. I feel like I also hate laundry because this does take so long and so if it's something that takes forever, like guys, I'd be dreading it. But honestly, I think that's just my sign to do my laundry more often. Anyways, guys, after a good long hour and playing with my cute little minka, my closet's finally organized and it's cute again. Okay guys, I got hungry so we made some food. I'm eating one egg and I'm eating vegetables stir fried with garlic and oyster sauce. So delicious. You guys know how I used to like eat so much protein and I was in that like weightlifting era. A switch in me happened and now I'm in my eating cleaner, leaner type of foods. And right now I'm obsessed with eating vegetables. Did the laundry, check. Cleaned my room, check. Now it's time to do my lashes. I'm gonna use this Kiss Foscara remover. I watched tutorials of people doing this and it looked pretty easy. You just put like a whole bunch on a cotton pad and you let it sit on your eye. It'll hopefully just like melt off. I have been watching K-drama recently. I re-watch Boys Over Flowers because duh. And then currently right now, I'm re-watching Crash Landing on You because duh. <laughs> this K-drama makes me cry because it's so funny like what the fuck like if you know you know this scene is fucking hilarious <laughs> So only a few are left on, but these are like literal lash extensions that are applied by a professional. So I'm not gonna rip these off. I only wanted to take off the ones that were from the DIY cluster gel. Whenever I do my no makeup makeup look, this is like the stuff I like to use. So I like to use my Charlotte Tilbury concealer thing. It's actually not a concealer. It's supposed to be more of a like color corrector. Then I'm using my Giorgio Armani little liquid blush. You guys know I love this. I'm gonna line my lips slightly with this MAC Stone Lip Pencil. This one is more of like a brown color and currently I'm really into brown. And then I go in with this Benefit Play Tint. Then we're gonna use my Laneige Lip Balm. This is so good. Not only is it hydrating, but it's such a cute color, guys. The bottom, top. It's like my lips, but better. Much, much better. Not too much, not too much. Keep it mindful. Guys, I saw a mosquito. I swear I saw a mosquito and now it's gone. Ah! Got it! Guys, look at how cute my sunglasses are. I got these from Le Specs. I love me a good smaller sunglass, but I love it when it's more like a cat eye. And the cat eye for this is so minimal, but it's so perfect. Low key, like it's giving gentle monster. But I was gonna journal later and like rant to you guys about like my life. But you know what? We're gonna do it right now. Quickly, I'm just gonna tell you guys some stuff I've been learning. I'm just gonna come and sit by this bench because honestly, it's kind of slay over here. Okay, so basically, recently, I dealt with rejection. And do you guys know what rejection is? Rejection is basically when life doesn't go the way you want it to. When life hits you with something and it hurts. And you know rejection really hurts when you're trying to do something that matters to you, that means something to you, that you love. It's so soul aligned. And you get rejected. That shit hurts. And it knocks your self-esteem. In the past, like long time ago, whenever I would deal with rejection, it would hurt me so bad that I would linger on to it for so long, for years, for months. But now, after doing all this inner work, I've learned how to deal with rejection or how to deal with disappointment or sadness and I now know how to process my emotions. I've become so much more emotionally intelligent and I love it so much because I was sad, I was down. There's a part of me that was so disappointed in what I wasn't able to achieve or what you know I had gone through but there's also that other side of me, that loving, compassionate side that's like, you know Sandy, it's okay. Things don't always go to plan but what can we do in this moment to grow and to move forward and 
to no longer repeat this cycle and overcome this pattern to bring forth a new reality but in manifestation before the universe actually gives you what it is that you're manifesting you have to realize that you used to be one person and what you're manifesting is this new version of you this other version of you before you can become this up leveled version of you you're going to be tested by a series of things by the universe like rejection or literally anything to see if you've really outgrown these old patterns these old mindsets these old self-limiting beliefs so you can move forward into this new version of you and so i feel like this was one of those moments for me where i dealt with rejection because the universe was like i know you want this we're going to test you to see if you're ready to up level but in dealing with rejection that's how you know you're so close to your manifestations because the universe wouldn't test you if what you wanted wasn't coming your way right it's like how could this person become this famous public speaker that inspires all but still deals with stage fright the universe is testing you but that's how you know you're on the right path because the universe is preparing you and that's my spiel for today i hope this resonated guys <laughs> okay we're gonna go to the grocery store now isn't this such a pretty tree though guys like something about this tree just feels so zen now I'm at the grocery store so I can prepare some dinner for tonight. I love getting vegetables. Typically, I get avocados. Is that a vegetable? I think that's a fruit. <laughs> but I like to get jalapenos. I like to get some sort of peppers. Recently, my breakfast has been eggs and some sort of vegetable on the side. Recently, I've been loving hot tea. And also for dinner, I've decided I'm gonna do a like stir-fried pork with cabbage and jalapeno. So delish. I love a cabbage stir-fry. Also, this brand Yaso has really good and clean ingredient ice cream, I believe. I'm back home and I'm cooking dinner. I'm talking to my brother. Me and my brother are very philosophical people if you actually really, really get to know us. And so we're having a really deep conversation while I'm cooking, but I'm making my stir fry. When it comes to making my meals, I always make sure I make enough to last at least like three to four days because honestly, I hate cooking. I mean, I love cooking, but I also don't like to when I'm busy. So it's nice to just have it ready and just easy to go. But when cooking this, you want to make sure you add in some garlic flakes. Okay, it's delicious. And also the only seasoning I used was oyster sauce. That's literally all you need for all the meals I make, I swear. Like, I'm just a big, big, big fan of oyster sauce and it's just the best tasting thing in the whole world. Anyways, I'm having a deep, deep conversation with my brother still. <laughs> So I just got out of the shower. I didn't wash my hair because I'm trying to not wash my hair every night. Now that it's brown, I really don't want it to fade super quick. So we're not washing it every day. We wash it every other day. Now we're going to do some skincare. But I actually want to do like a cute little face mask or like a jelly cotton pad mask. So we're going to use this one. It's from It's Skin. I love It's Skin. They have such good skincare products. Ooh cute cute oh so cold honestly guys i feel so good today as i told you guys earlier like i dealt with rejection but i think i feel so good today because i really just embraced the fact that the reason we face rejection in general or just fear or literally just anything that just doesn't feel positive just isn't what we want happening in our lives the thing about why we experience things like that is because you want to manifest certain things well in order to manifest certain and things or manifest a specific version of you you're gonna need to make room and make space for new energy and how can new energy come into your proximity if you're filled up with energy that is no longer serving you so the universe is really gonna test you throw shit at you so that you can overcome it so that it's no longer holding you back and now that it doesn't hold you back it's gone because it's no longer a trauma you hold right energetically your blockages when you overcome them they're gone you leave room in your body to invite new opportunities new positive energy new mindset new lessons and that's beautiful but the bittersweet part about that is that when you finally are able to invite new opportunities because it's new it's so uncomfortable and it's just this entire process that's why when i went to new york like i was really bummed because i had dealt with rejection in one way or another but at the same time i was here like i'm still in new york like holy 
holy shit, I manifested that. And so then with that rejection, I also invited in a new experience, which was being in New York. And so I was super anxious. Like, you know when they say, try something new and get uncomfortable? That's why I was in New York. I was doing something that I had wanted to do for so long. I manifested it. And that in itself was very uncomfortable. That to me is like stepping into something new to allow myself to grow. With doing my speech this year, with traveling to Paris, to New York, I feel like I've really been like slowly but surely allowing myself to receive new opportunities and allow myself to grow in other areas that I just wasn't able to grow in in the past. I'm so grateful for this entire year. One thing about me is I've completely thrown out timelines. I do not care about how fast you're supposed to do things the way society says. I really don't care because I know I'm on a completely different journey and the things I want, you're not gonna want. The things I want, society's not gonna want and that's totally fine, that's okay. I choose to live on my side of the world and do things on my timing no matter what it takes, no matter who looks at me weird, no matter how society views the things I'm doing. As long as I'm doing something for my highest good, that's all that matters. So this is the Innisfree Green Tea Caffeine Bright Eyes Serum. I heard caffeine under the eyes really helps your eyes look more awake and stuff. So let's go ahead and try this baby out. <gasps> Whoa! Oh my gosh, guys, I'm stupid. I literally squeezed it and you guys didn't even get to see. Whoa, this feels so cold. <gasps> Oh my god, I think I'm hooked. That feels amazing. You know, I'm gonna start using this in the morning because I always wake up with the most puffiest eyes and sometimes people think I'm crying and I'm like, no, okay. Guys, you guys need this. You know how like people ice their eyes with like things they put in their freezer? I'm not a girl who's about to put my skincare stuff in the freezer, okay? Especially because I don't have a clean freezer, so like that's not happening. If I had a clean one, maybe, but if you want something that'll brighten your under eyes, feel cold without putting it in your freezer, this is like the thing for you and this is what good skincare looks like okay i'm gonna go ahead and journal though and end the night here i appreciate you guys so much for watching my videos supporting me like all this traveling i've been doing recently i literally couldn't do it without you guys and your guys' support and you guys watching me because like i literally make money from you guys if you really think about it i didn't go to paris y'all we went to paris i really hope that this video helped you guys one way or another or inspired you guys to do something whether that be clean your room do your skincare or just prioritize yourself, you deserve a bestie.